What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today I've prepared the second edition of synonyms for the verbs to like, love, and to have a good time. If you haven't seen the first edition with 18 alternatives, you can check it out by clicking on the card right here, and there is also a link down below. And today I'm gonna tell you what things I like about living in Valencia. It's a city on the east coast of Spain. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and a pen and let's kick off. So let's get started. Today we're going to learn six verbs and the first one on my list is to get a kick out of something, which means to really like or enjoy something. For example, in my case, I get a kick out of going to the beach and walking along the shore. And in summer, I get a kick out of swimming in the sea and going snorkeling. Living on the coast, you can't beat it. The expression, you can't beat it, means is the best. And now let's move on to the second verb, which is to tickle someone's fancy. It means to like and to want something. One simple sentence, freshly squeezed orange juice always tickles my fancy. Valencia is the land of oranges and I make sure to drink one glass of orange juice, especially in winter. And now let's get to number three, you gotta love something. If you want, you can omit you and say just gotta love something. And it means that you like or love something. Let's put it into simple sentence, gotta love Valencian paella. It's a typical Valencian dish that consists of rice, chicken, rabbit, beans, garlic, tomato, saffron and other spices and we usually eat it on Sundays. It's delicious. Let's move on to number four. We can also say to dig something, to mean that we like something. For example, I really dig Mediterranean diet. It's renowned for being healthy and it's high in fruit vegetables, fish, seafood, olive oil, legumes, nuts, and so on. And guys, before we continue and learn more synonyms, just a super quick reminder. If you like today's lesson, please don't forget to like it. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do so. Thank you for all your love and support. And now we're going to learn two verbs that we can use to replace the verb to have a good time. Number five, to have a blast. And it means to have fun and to really enjoy yourself. A lot of people have a blast at Fayas. It's a unique fire festival that takes place in March. During this five-day celebration, a lot of huge sculptures made of cardboard and called Fayas are set up across the city. There are also fireworks, firecrackers, live music, paella contests, and the flower offering to the Virgin. In 2016, the festival was declared a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage. It's an impressive, colorful, and tasty festival that is worth seeing. And last but not least, Number six, to have a hoot. It means to have fun with silliness and craziness. For example, you can have a hoot when dancing on the streets at Fayas. And we can also say that someone is a hoot, which means that this person is very funny or crazy. For example, that guy is so funny. He's a real hoot. And before I finish, I want to share with you two places that are my favorites in Valencia. 
The first one is the City of Arts and Sciences, which was designed by the famous architect Santiago Calatrava. It's comprised of several very original and mind-blowing buildings. I'm very fortunate to live nearby and to gaze at this futuristic complex. By the way, the movie Tomorrowland was partly filmed in this place. And my second favorite place is the Albufera Natural Park. I like it very much because I love being in nature and it's on the coast, so you can find lots of beautiful beaches. Also, there are lots of lakes, pine trees, dunes, rice fields, and you can also see lots of birds. It's such a peaceful and quiet area and I enjoy going there to recharge my batteries. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about Valencia. I really recommend coming here and enjoying this beautiful city. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits if you like my channel, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram where I teach English every day. With that being said, thank you for watching this video and for joining me today and see you next Wednesday with a shorts and then next Sunday with our long lesson like today. So have a nice day. Ciao!